What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to use slices inside of decal machine in order to create longer panel slices um, that can be used to add detail to your objects. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so I will link to some different videos where we've talked about decal machine before. So um, I've got some introductory videos, other things like that. I will also link to some videos um, in the document documentation from the developer where he talks about some of the stuff as well but I thought I'd make a video kind of showing you the basics of how you can use slices in order to add detail as well as some things that I'm finding to be a little bit more practical for using this. Um, so to start off what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have two objects right so I've just got a cube that I've beveled off and another cube that I've beveled off and real quick I'm gonna apply rotation and scale just to make sure that I've done that and so now what we want to do is we want to use this object to create a slice along this object and I'm probably going to move this over just a bit and so what we're going to do is we're going to select this object we're going to do a shift click we're going to select this object we're going to tap the D key and assuming you have decal machine installed this little window is going to show up and what we want to do is we want to select the option for slice so when we select the option for slice what that's going to do is that's going to add a slice along this object um, inside of Blender. And so if we were to jump into wireframe mode real quick and look at this, you can see how basically what this did is this created an object. It's an additional object that follows the topology of this shape just like this. And then what it's doing is it's applying this decal to that topology. And so that's going to be really powerful. We can talk more about that in the future, but for now, you can see how that's an easy way to add this decal on here. Then you can do some interesting things in here as well. So for example, you could use a mirror modifier in order to mirror this across all the axes to quickly add that detail to your object inside of Blender. And so this is going to work for other kinds of objects as well. So I've got two UV spheres right here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna do a shift click, hit that D key, and then click on slice. Whoops, let's select them the other way. And so that's gonna do the same thing. But notice how for this one, this is kind of like inside of this sphere, right? So it, it's, it's basically not showing the decal because the decal is too close to the surface. So what we can do is we can tap the D key and we can adjust this using the adjust function. So if I click on adjust and I move my mouse, notice how that's gonna move that decal out just like this. And so we're just gonna move this so that it's just off of this face enough that we can see all of the decal or all of the detail in here. And so one thing you might have noticed is you're getting this distortion in here, right? So you're having some issues with the way that the geometry in here overlaps. And so part of the reason for that is if we were to jump into wireframe mode and look at this, what this is doing is this is creating this overlap geometry. So it's actually, it is creating this as quad geometry, but notice how it's kind of like overlapping in here and it's really causing a problem for us right? So it's just not generating very good geometry. And as a result, you're getting this distortion and pinching in here because the faces are all kind of stacked on top of each other. So what I want to do is I want to look at another way to um, slice this geometry. So um, first thing we're going to do is you can get your backup object back by selecting this object right here tapping the D key and selecting the option for get backup. What that's gonna do is that's gonna go find the geometry that you use to create this. Well, I'm just gonna tap the G key and move this over. And what we wanna do now is we just wanna do a shift click. We wanna tap the D key and notice how when you mouse over this slice option, and so when you mouse over this, notice that what this does is this, this is gonna give you the option in here to create the topology a couple different ways. So the first is you could hold the Alt key and click on this. And so that's not necessarily something that's gonna work very well in this situation. For this one, probably what we wanna do is we wanna hold the shift key and click on the button for slice. And so when we do that, and then we go to wireframe mode and look at the topology that we're getting, what it did is it came in here and it, it uh, basically smoothed that out so that we don't have all those overlaps anymore. All right, and so because we have that smoothed out topology, what that means is that means that if we jump over here and tap the D key and adjust this, you can see how we're getting a much, a much smoother result. 
right here. So by using those different slice options, you can get different topology in here. And let's take a look at another example. So let's do a shift A, let's add a cube. And then let's do a shift D and duplicate this cube, just like this. So I'm gonna move this over so that we're kind of aligned on this corner. And so now, for example, let's scale this down just a little bit more. If we were to do a shift click, and then tap D and click on slice, notice what you're getting is you're getting geometry that's not really uniform in here. It's kind of like pinching in the corners, right? You can see it a little bit better if we go to wireframe mode where it's just kind of pinching on these edges right here. Well, if we were to tap D and get our backup, then let's move this over and do it again. But this time we're gonna tap the D key and we're gonna hold the Alt key. And so if we use the Alt key, what that's gonna do is that's gonna use the Topo Slice option. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna align a lot better with this object, right? So if we look at wireframe mode, this one's kind of pinched on the corners. This one uses the target object's topology in order to set this up. And so what that allows us to do is that allows us to create stuff that follows along with more simple shapes like this. So you can kind of see that in here. One thing to note is you uh, can tap the D key and adjust this. If you tap the N key, what that's gonna do is that's going to basically set this up so it's not trying to match the normals in the same way. So you see how this one doesn't blend very well? When I tap the N key, what I got was I got a result in here that blends a lot better. So that's not always going to be the case, but it's definitely something that you can try in order to get better results. All right, so there's a whole long video on a machine on machines um, website, which I will link to in the notes down below, talking more about topology. Um, I don't wanna get too far into topology right here. I mean, literally it's a nine minute video talking about how you can use complex shapes and kind of interact them together in order to get better topology. So I definitely recommend watching that. I wanna talk about some more practical things coming with this add-on. So let's start by adding another cube. So we'll do a shift A, cube. We're just gonna move this over. And then let's just, uh, let's apply a rotation and scale. Then let's just tab in here and do a control B in order to bevel the edges, just to give us kind of a box shape that we can play around with. So we're gonna take this box shape and let's say that we wanted to come in here and we wanted to add some slices in order to create some detail. So the first thing is you can customize the profile that you're using um, you can customize the decal that you're using in order to create this detail. So let's say that we were to add another mesh real quick. And let's say that we were to use this to create a slice. So we're just gonna tap the D key, click on the button for slice. And so notice what that's gonna do is that's just gonna add this very simple slice in here, right? Well, if you tab or if you uh, tap the D key and then go into adjust mode, um, first of all, there's a number of different things that you can adjust. So if you tap like the Q or the W key, the W key is gonna allow you to adjust the width of the decal that's in there. Um, you can adjust the ambient occlusion by tapping the A key and moving your mouse around. So you can customize the look of these different decals really easily. You can also, if you hold the control key and scroll your mouse wheel, Notice how there's a number of different example panels that this can uh, scroll through. So you can apply these different panels in here just by holding the control key and scrolling your mouse wheel. But you can use all of these um, inside of decal machine in order to create and get different results. So another cool thing about this is you can also um, use just flat sheets in order to create these cuts. So let's say that I was to just add a simple plane, move it along here. We'll just scale this on the Y axis, scale it up a little more and apply the rotation and scale. But what you can do is you can just do a shift click, hit the D key, and then you can just apply another slice in here using that sheet. So you can use a flat sheet in order to create these cuts as well. So we can do the same thing with a vertical sheet. And you could create cuts in here as well with the vertical sheets. So we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna do a slice. We'll do the same thing over here. We'll create another slice. 
And notice how that's coming in here and that's basically slicing this and creating this topology that's sitting on top of this box. And so one thing you might notice with something like this, and I'm going to adjust this real quick just so that it's uh, more simple. But we're just gonna set both of these to the example panel of one like this. Well, notice how you're getting this kind of overlap in here, right? So you can see that this decal is running over the face of this decal. Well, what we could do is we can come in here, you can actually tab into edit mode and you can actually adjust the geometry that's in here in order to adjust the result that's created. So if I was to do a control R in here and add an edge loop right here and do a control R and add another edge loop right here, what we could do is we could just select these two edges and delete them just like this. And so we could stop this right before this other edge. Well then if you zoom out, you look at this, you're really getting a pretty good blend of the two objects in here. So you can make these look pretty continuous just by adjusting that geometry. So you could also come in here and you could adjust the path. So you could do a control R and let's add just a little bit of extra geometry in here. Well, let's say I was to select this and move it up. You can see how that decal that's getting created is gonna follow along with that as well. So you can actually come in here and adjust the path of that shape in edit mode after you create this um, in order to create some really cool kind of custom shapes. And so now let's say the one other thing I wanna talk about is making sure our materials match, right? And so for example, let's say this box was shaded smooth and let's say that we were to add like a blue material, right? So we'll just create a very simple blue material. Um, we'll make it We'll turn the roughness down so it's kind of reflective, kind of like a metal material, right? Well, what you might have noticed is you're gonna notice that these, uh, these are currently not matching the material that's in here, right? So they kind of stand out in a way that we don't really want them to stand out. Well, what you can do is you can select these, tap the D key, and then um, under, the, under this match option, you can tap the V or just click on the match option and you can adjust the materials. And so in this case, what we wanna do is we wanna adjust the materials. So I'm gonna tap the S key to deselect subset and then I'm gonna hold, or I'm gonna tap D and I'm gonna do a shift scroll in order to adjust this material. We'll notice how this has two sides on it. So we also wanna do the same thing by tapping F and holding control and scrolling this to match this to the blue material as well. well. Now, if I click off of this and I zoom in, notice how this is matched to the material on our object. And so you can do this for any of these. So for example, this one, we could do a D, tap the V, and then we just wanna set our material. So D, we wanna hold the shift key and scroll it up and down, probably F as well. But notice how I'm able to set those materials so that this decal really blends in to my object. So that's kind of an overview of the way that you can use slices inside of decal machine in order to quickly add detail. There is a way to create the custom slice profiles in here as well. If you're interested, we can make a video about that in the future as well. But for now, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.